Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, demonstration, uh, we're going to be demonstrating um, infinite efficiency by toroid transformer operation. We're going to be comparing a conventional transformer that operates at less than 100% efficiency to the bi toroid transformer and uh, in both cases we're using the same generator coil running it through the conventional transformer and then the bi toroid transformer to the same load and this load has a has a power factor of one which means that um, the voltage and current are in phase in with a load power factor of one and when we when we use the conventional transformer to deliver power to the load you will notice that the voltage and current which are going to be displayed on the oscilloscope the power factor of the load is reflected in the primary of the conventional transformer and when the conventional transformer is placed on load as with the previous um, video the input power that's required by the prime mover in order to stop to establish rotational equilibrium where the mechanical power in the drive shaft which is the torque times the speed uh, is zero and when the conventional transformer is placed on load the prime mover will consume additional input power in order to supply uh, in order to convert that electrical input power to mechanical power that's delivered to the drive shaft in order to allow the generator to continue to operate and what we'll see with the conventional transformer is that the conventional transformer consumes real power in the primary and it delivers real power to the load and again that real power will be reflected on the consumption of the prime mover and um, also what we'll see uh, in the conventional transformer is the power factor of the load will be, re will be reflected in the primary of the conventional transformer which we'll also be able to see on the oscilloscope when we switch over to the bi toroid transformer the bi toroid transformer consumes reactive power in the primary and it delivers real power to the load the difference between the bi toroid transformer and the conventional transformer is that the power factor of the load is not does not influence the power factor of the primary and you'll see that on the oscilloscope as well I'll do my best to explain it's this motor this is a little louder than the previous one but what we will see again as with the previous uh, Regen X generator prototype this the amount of uh, power consumption by the prime mover that's required to establish rotational equilibrium when the bi toroid transformer is on load it will go to a value that's below um, whatever is required to establish rotational equilibrium denoting that the bi toroid transformer is operating at infinite efficiency and um, uh, this is the voltage and the, the the voltage across the load the current through the load 
And again, the speed of the system. Again, we're starting the system at a steady state speed. And that means that if the at steady state speed, that means the net torque in the drive shaft is zero. That means, the, and the power in the drive shaft, which is the, the torque times the speed, uh, because the torque is zero, the power in the drive shaft is zero. So when we place the conventional transformer on load, this number will go up in response, the speed will go down, and then when we place the bitoroid transformer on load, uh, this number will go down and the speed will go up. And um, again, the bitoroid transformer will be operating at less than 100% efficiency. The, re the conventional transformer will be operating at less than 100% efficiency as all current systems do. And the bitoroid transformer will be operating at infinite efficiency. So let's start it up. requires 409, 410 watts to establish rotational equilibrium and uh, we're on no load right now so I'm going to put the conventional transformer on load. delivering power to our load and the input power to the prime mover has gone up in response which means that the prime mover is delivering additional mechanical power to the drive shaft. We can see on the oscilloscope that the voltage and current sine waves in the primary of the conventional transformer are in phase. And that means that the, the primary of the conventional transformer is consuming real power and delivering real power to the load at less than 100% efficiency, as all transformers do. Steady state speed is 3400 RPM. The prime mover requires 403 watts in order to establish rotational equilibrium. The power in our drive shaft is zero mechanical watts. And uh, now I'm going to put the bichloride transformer on load.
consumption has gone down from 402 watts to 371. The speed has increased. And we can see that the voltage, we can see that the voltage and current sine waves for the primary of the bitoroid transformer are 90 degrees out of phase, which means that the bitoroid transformer primary is consuming reactive power, which has no net uh, real power, and, it, and it's delivering real power to the load at infinite efficiency. toroid transformer operating at less than 100% efficiency and um, that's it. The next uh, demonstration that I'm going to do is I'm going to be operating the same uh, generator coil that we're using in this demonstration. I'm going to be, char I'm going to be operating the generator coil at above the coil's critical minimum frequency of operation, above the critical minimum frequency of operation for the Regenx coil. The Regenx coil uh, will be charging uh, an EV's battery at infinite efficiency, meaning that uh, no additional uh, power will be required by the prime mover when the when the Regenx generator coil is placed on load. And then once we operate the same coil uh, below the critical minimum frequency of the coil, the, uh, the coil will operate at less than 100% efficiency. And um, uh, it, uh, which means that the prime mover that mean, which means that when the generator coil is placed on load and when it's charging the battery, it will cause the system to decelerate. It will cause the prime mover to uh, consume additional power and deliver additional mechanical power into the drive shaft. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for viewing.